Whoa! It's Woolsey. I said in the last one that I was gonna build before I started stream today. I didn't. Um, welcome back to another Extreme Demon building video. That's pretty much all you need to know. This part is looking very, very flat. There's not much to cover up the edges. Light work for a guy like Woolsey. So we just have a gradient that's gonna fade on. Nothing too special here. Just putting the blocks at the top and bottom in case that it fades on too early and you can see like the edge of the gradient. See, that's so much better already. We can, ooh, we can make them move up and down. You're right, you're right, Region X. 284 bottom, 285 top. We can have a really quick movement up. Dude right there. We move it up, and then we move it down, like, ease and out, maybe. Just need to make the movements the opposite direction for the top side. Yes! So the gradients just move up and down to meet in the middle, and then they gradually move off. So it's like an extra pulse, really. Anyway, we are going to cut off all of this space right here, and we're just gonna make it kind of end. So we're gonna have a drip up there, and then the smaller pixel pieces. We'll probably just run it off to an edge here. Ooh! I like that. Ooh, what if I have on this dash orb a movement that's a back in out easing or back in, back out, back in, back in. Yeah, yeah. That goes down off the screen for each of these gradients. So they go inwards before they move out, right? That would be hype for a dash orb. 283. Can copy... Is it object color we copy with this? I can't remember. Just trying to make a cool transition which like focuses in on this dash orb real quick. So it pulses up and then it fades out. That looks clean. Why not? We are not using this. Don't worry. We're just using it as a reference. So we keep the rainbow. I feel like we keep the rainbow here. Why not? We're gonna saturate this outline though, for sure. So we are just gonna kind of trace this star. This is something I usually do. You can see that they are still underneath this outline. And we're gonna rotate to match the corners. Uh, it's gonna be a very lopsided star. If I just flip the other side around, is it gonna match up? This is just 50-50 chance. Okay, it, it, it's a star. <laughs> It looks kind of silly, but it's there. So now we have a huge empty space in the middle. It's going to be a bit annoying to fill, but okay. As long as we stay within the outlines here, we should be fine. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to fill in this object. And it feels like angling some slopes like this is going to be the best. It's going to be very inefficient, but if it fills it, it fills it. Yeah, the outlines being laid above definitely helps with this. I just want to see what the middle of this star is. She's using scale hack. It, that's, a, that's such a dumb spot for the center. Are you kidding me? So by using crazy scale hack we have found the center doesn't really matter how big that piece is so just for convenience i'm going to scale it up so now this star is going to rotate around this piece so 286 is the center 287 for the star what we're going to do with this we're going to take the outlines here and they're going to have some groups of their own starting with 288 hopefully when i scale down yes this is exactly what i had in mind 289 and then yeah we can create a really cool outline effect here that is kind of trippy i might delete this center one looks Odd when it's zoomed out. Gonna start. Oh, 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 oh! This is a mistake. I did not link each outline together. It'll be fine. It's just gonna be very finicky because now I can't like add any sort of change to them. I, I would do the whole thing again, but I'm lazy. We're going to make them copy the object line a bit brighter, hopefully, if that's even possible. We're gonna kind of do the same as what we did previously. We're gonna increase the hue a little bit per group, but it's for design rather than a background. Oopsie. And there will be movements too, so don't worry. I'll add enough flare to make it stand out as its own little thing. <laughs> okay, just gotta time this right. I've rotated them so there's like a bit of oomph to it, you know? I can kind of control the speed that it happens. I can reverse it. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, 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 okay. We're not gonna do too much just yet because I want to add movements too. So if I start with 288, and even if I just move it like two, right two, up two, left two, down two, another effect that we've done before but then used in a different way because I love doing stuff like this. Yeah, you see how the outline kind of floats there? If we then copy all of these triggers, we can even go up into the right here and just increase the group number. I think it would look a lot better if the outline did move. Yeah. Hi, bananas. What's up, bananas? Haven't forgotten about the fruit part, by the way. Now, I'm not sure what to do with the centerpiece now. We kind of have this set up. We can alley-oop here. I'm thinking of adding like a, a bulb design. Can't say I've ever done this, but we can try. If I make a chamber, a block like this, which is black on, we'll say, edit to layer five, then on six, and then we get our base. Put this on black as well. And we get this on one of the pulsing groups. Like, I think 280. Eight was one of them? That is one of them. Okay, that's always lit somehow. So we can create like a light bulb kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking anyway. If I get some of the thick lines here, go black blending, T2, and maybe 290, shift it inwards like that. And then make this one uh, 294, and then have something in the middle that kind of softens it. It's way too big at the moment, so I gotta figure that out, but I'm trying to figure out some cool looking groups here. Shift them down. It's not 
It's not awful. It looks like a shine. You know, that little split in the middle? Saturated max. It actually looks kind of good. If I grab the outline color and create some sort of cool edge. Watch this, guys. Okay, I didn't get the spacing right at all. One sec. We're working on a circle that we can use for decoration. It's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. Ooh. Okay, that's a really good spot. Let's go. We have a decent center point. Nah, we're not going to spawn that. Never mind. Enjoy that cut out of the video. You guys won't miss that for sure. We'll just make a nice smooth rotation then. Why not? Sorry for the waste of time. I like it. We just need to make the centerpiece invisible. Whenever we use this, we need to have a good old build helper again. We should switch it up for this wave, which is why I'm going to stop doing it right here. Oh, there's some of them broke. Whoops. We should probably slow it down for some of them. So we can go like minus one, minus 180 for some of them. I really have not marked this very well for myself, but it's okay. I'm trying to pick out whether I make the structures first and try and build a design around them, or do I build the design first and then build the structures around it? Design first. Right. Good idea. Oh, it would be kind of neat if I could figure out a way to put these blocks in. I feel like these would work. Make them black with the object colors that Ooh. can have a scaled down version. I mean, that looks cool. We can go back to what we did initially, but use black invisible blocks instead of white ones. And that kind of links it to the beginning of the level, right? So we've stacked a bunch of these because it's fun. Very risky stuff right here. Uh, let's make these blocks invis. Best thing to do is layer these since it's only one object. Yeah. Okay. We can select like a couple of these, like this one, this one, to have one of the pulsing groups as well. This is the easiest design I'll ever make in my life. Move that a bit to the side. Have a 346. Bang. Simple dimple stuff right here. 346. Black blending. <laughs> the Donkey Kong kind of structuring. You know what I mean? Now, it does look kind of ugly when these overlap. I think I should add like a ring of glow. No! I didn't put a face behind them! What? Oh, there's a layering issue. How have I, how have I only just noticed that? I'm making a lot of mistakes. You're right. I need to double check. I need to figure out my layering immediately because this is tragic. I can't have this. There has to be a base. There has to be. I've just lost it. I just don't know where it is because this was this was hidden before. I managed to get this to be hidden. I'm so confused. You guys remember me making the base, right? I did that in the stream. I'm going to get up my footage Oof. to it. You know, we're going to review the footage. Control. So we're going to go back to the part where I made this. That's what I'm thinking. Look, anyway. it's there. It's on layer six, but it's not there. Oh, it's only on it was only ever on the first? I just need to find the rotating group of every single one of these. In this mess? This mess that I've created? I think this will be 339. So I'll get these and I'll put them on 339. And we're just gonna have to check one by one, which is horrible. I know, it's horrible. It's a horrible process. This is very vital for our new design to actually work. Without clashing with what's already here. Alright, thank you for putting up with that. That was easily the weirdest set of events that I could have anticipated for the stream. Now it's copy-paste time. <laughs> we get to relax with some copy-paste now. Okay, you're right, the movements are not it. The more that I've designed, the more I realize that the movements just aren't all that. Let's have a look without the movements then, because it is extremely static. It's actually not that bad. Okay, we're getting to the part of the stream where I start to run out of stamina. So we used to have a couple of rotating objects here. Why not? Let's just control them a bit with some degree numbers. This looks cool. I love just making like random orb designs and then working out perfectly each time. It's just a very satisfying thing, at least for me in the editor. An underrated decoration stage. I also love just reusing groups. It's just the best thing ever. We can just cluster these, I guess, into a certain spot. And make sure we tick saturation on here so that it goes less white and more colorful. And we can put these like clusters like above areas of the gameplay that we want to highlight we'll put it right in the center of this straight fly let's try this out and then we'll, we'll end stream because i don't want to go too much further okay we'll have this on 289 and then we'll rotate add the next group 290 rotate add the next group that's too bright unfortunately but you get the idea 353 20 seconds rotate five times and also lock onto the x-axis right here Looks pretty good. We're also going to move this across the screen, I think. The 353 is going to start like way up in the air. Yeah. And as the part goes on, it's just going to shift all the way down. It's kind of like a, a lens flare. That's kind of funny. And that brings us to the end of this Extreme Demon episode. I think this is the sixth stream I've done. Obviously, we built this part in like July, August last year sometime. But since then, we've been having a blast every single Tuesday on YouTube live stream. I will have to miss one week coming up, but... 
Uh, yeah, this is looking pretty decent. We'll probably remake this part at some point because it is significantly less rainbow than the rest, but I'm loving the direction this level's been taken as of late. Very easy for me to just hop on stream, just clash some ideas in. Kind of messing up the gameplay here, but this part is now enhanced with the glow at the bottom. Need to add a little bit more detail here and there, especially to this part. Not sure how this background's going to work because it is kind of eating up frames. I'm fumbling the gameplay, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're at with this level. One take, Woolsey. Thank you guys so much for watching. For you watching the video, check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe. Have a good day.